Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome to the first part of our Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Let's Play. Um, I'm actually recording this the day after the Ezio Collection came out. Um, because I wanted to be able to get into Brotherhood and get into Revelation so I can do live streams and free roam videos and you know that kind of stuff on Brotherhood and Revelations without kind of spoiling my first kind of playthrough of the game. So I thought I'd record the first hour of Brotherhood and Revelations. Obviously this will be going up way later down the line. However, I recorded these two, like, the day, basically, that it came out. Uh, just simply because I wanted to be able to get into the game, so I could make other content without spoiling my first initial reaction. But, without further ado, let's hop into the Brother menu. This, this is, I think, this main menu is more nostalgic to me than 2. Just simply because I remember this one the best. I don't really remember looking at 2's main menu, but I remember... See, because... I remember... I don't know what the fuck happened there. See, because... With Assassin's Creed 2, I didn't really realize how special the series was until I finished it, and I was like, holy shit, this is so good. And then I was kind of really into it when Brotherhood was coming out. I was like, holy shit, Assassin's Creed 2 was so good. Like, Brotherhood's going to be better, right? And, like, I remember this is the first game. Multiplayer, I remember, I remember getting this game because it was... I always used to have McDonald's on a Friday. It's now changed to a Saturday because, obviously, Horsey and Fox streams, we have it on Saturday. Uh, however, uh, I always used to have McDonald's on a Friday, and I remember having McDonald's and playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and having this main menu and getting to get more Etsy auditory it was just it was fantastic and it's so saddening to not see like the multiplayer option anywhere um however let's go ahead and let's hop into the story mode um I'm really freaking excited this is gonna be awesome so I'll play some Brotherhood and we will call it uh what, what, what did I call the other one again the Etsy, Etsy collection I call it Etsy collection right surely Etsy call Okay, here we go. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. That's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. Here we go, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Okay, time to see how this game looks. I'm not expecting too much from Brotherhood, just simply because of the trailers and stuff. It doesn't look very changed. However, I'm sure the resolution will make a large improvement. How did you find me? Mario Avitore, let me hear. I think the armor looks kind of more shiny, and I think Cesare's face looked quite nice, I think. Other than that, I'm not really seeing too much of a difference. Maybe a bit of colorization, but not really too much. It's very, very similar. Uh, Rebecca? 
Becca, what's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Understand. Please wait. There's so many questions. Yeah, I mean this. Yeah. I mean, it's really just the resolution, isn't it? I mean, the resolution looks very nice, uh, but it's it's very similar. I just want to quickly whack on the subtitles right now. Like in general, subtitles. There we go. I think the arm is definitely more shiny, more detail to it. I think, like his brace right there. This intro is always just fantastic. So we have to use Eagle Vision so we can see the path. I mean, Brotherhood already looked great. Like, this 1080p just looks nice. There's a few detail improvements, I think. I don't know if that's just me thinking there is, but it, it looks like there is. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Forja to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. I mean, I definitely think the game is looking better. I don't know whether that's just because I've been playing a lot of AC2 and I'm comparing it to that. Or whether I'm comparing it to the... I mean, def it definitely looks better than the original Brotherhood, right? It, I, I think it does. I think there's a lot of detail things here. Que cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio. Now. Let's go. Let's go. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. I mean, it definitely looks, it looks orange, I think. I think the coloring is quite nice. Coloring's a bit aggressive in here, though, Jesus Christ. Here we go, the beautiful Brotherhood combat system. Oh, look, we've got improved combat, guys! He's trying to counter that dude. Yeah. I fucking love the combat in Brotherhood. It's so beautiful. It's but fucking out Mario. For sure, relax though. Gone. 
Oh no. Wow, okay. Well, that was fucking pathetic, wasn't it, guys? Mario, where are we off to? I mean, is the draw distance improved? I'm gonna have to check when we get to, like, the top of the building. Like, a really high up so I can actually see. It looks like the draw distance is improved, similar to Assassin's Creed 2. I think that might be a thing. Why is Mario so slow? Oh my god, the camera just had a seizure, Jesus Christ. Okay, look, we got this. This way, right? Right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course I went the wrong way. Come on, Mario. But watch me end up catching up with him because he's just too slow. Look, I've already fucking caught up with him. Yeah, rent the distance is better, I think. Or is, it, or is it? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. Oh, come on. Surely that's better. Surely that's got to be better. That looks better to me. I don't know, though. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Oh, snap. It's a great intro. The whole thing is great, actually. Gotta love Brotherhood. It's great. Oh, the Animus Room. Everything just is little details, I think, that looks a lot better. Like, I like, like, the armor, and then, like, the Animus, and just, like, the way that the lighting works, I think. Let's see how Monterigione looks in Brotherhood. And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago. And another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? It's fate. <laughs> <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Ah, oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. I think the colouring of the sky looks better, unless it always looks like that. <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember. I mean, it definitely looks pretty. I don't... I, it's definitely looking better, surely. Surely it is. I just I feel like maybe I'm maybe I'm saying this and it always looked like this, but I don't know. I feel like I'd have to play the original Brotherhood to realize. Ezio, look at Ezio. Let me see. Buongiorno. Salve Mario. It's good to be home. Two of them. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Brother. Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. 
They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Anyway, now we do these three little missions. Uh, yeah, definitely look at the armor on the back of the armor vault. That looks really nice. Oh. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Alditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Alditori himself would be impressed. Oh. What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? Lol. The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Fucking hell, Ezio's a manipulative fuck boy. What the fuck? Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. We must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. I'm almost certain she's a Templar spy. I'm pretty sure most people think that. Like, the way she's like, wait until tomorrow, and then the villa gets attacked. Like, it kind of just makes sense. Oh, oh, look at those god rays. Holy shit, that's not in the original Brotherhood. No way is that in the original. Hold on, we need to get a closer look at that. Holy shit, what the fuck. That is not in the original Brotherhood. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's definitely, that's definitely, uh, definitely an update. Okay. Let's go, let's go, uh, do the, let's do the cannons one, then the horse one. I just gotta get up to the cannons. Um, let me think, how do we get up there? This way. The best way to get up. Ooh, that is pretty. That's a nice, nice glare there from the sun. Hello, friends. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Okay, let's do this. Hidden blades. Okay, let's find this dude. I don't know why the fuck I'm jumping, right? Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from France. Yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. Oh, crazy. <laughs> that is the future. Ooh, that's pretty.
I got the guy. What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There. Try it. I love when Ezio comes over to these dudes with the cannons and he's like, May I try one? <laughs> he sounds so derpy. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. And he like has the little smile when he says it. Like, may I throw one? Oh, it's so, it's so great. Classic Derpy Ezio. No, I missed. Fuck. The aim mechanism is fine. The problem must be behind the cannon. I got that one on the hill last. There we go. Perfect. At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for the other one. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Okay. Now let's go to this horse one. Oh, can I not jump out of here? Oh, that's weird. You could in Assassin's Creed 2. That's weird. Okay, fine. Okay, let's do the horse one. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Okay, let's get the darn horse. You can't get on it. Holy shit. Oh, wait, you can. Okay, good. That's the that's the fastest I've ever fucking done that. Uh, here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Okay, let's head to the villa. Go tell everyone about what happened in Rome. I don't think Ezio puts the cape over his shoulder while you're wearing the armor of Altair and Brotherhood, does he? Surely would have done it. Oh no, he does do it. Okay, okay. I thought he didn't. Maybe that's something else where he doesn't do it. Oh, I think it's just when you wear Ezio's outfit in any other Assassin's Creed game other than... The, the Ezio games, he doesn't do it. That makes sense. All right. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Corley. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother. Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? 
Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond? And where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him live. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Right. Time to go talk to Katarina. Wink, wink, wink. Ready to go again? You don't need to ask. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. Shh. What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. Mirga. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. Oh, that definitely looks way better than Brotherhood originally did. Let's go. Yeah. 
I lost everything. <laughs> okay, here we go. No Arthur, no Arthur! Oh, Arthur! You poor thing. Oh no. Alright, let's go. He can still do the climb leap here. And he doesn't have the glove. Oh, fuck hell, I'm yawning. I mean, he doesn't have the glove, the climbing glove thing? But he can still do it? The fuck? I'm aware. Don't worry about it. Oh, I got this. Destroying like three at once. Because I can. I remember when I first played this, I failed at this bit like a fucking shit ton of times. Like, it's fucking stupid. Surely we won't fail now, though. <laughs> I hope. Oh, what the fuck? Is it one out? Oh, that was annoying. Noise. going. I love how in the E3 demo they took down these things, even though you don't need to at all, and like, it, you, you're meant to take out the cannons. Oh no, the cannon. Take out those guys. Lol. Alright, let's focus on the cannons though. We want to make sure that people can make it out. Okay, it's only 55 people left. We're all good, we're all good. We got this, we got this. Check out that last cannon. 45. Don't worry, we got this. We got this. Come on, townspeople, make it out. What you doing? Fifteen, ten, five. We did it. You have saved it. Wait, soldiers are climbing the walls. Senor, forget the cannon. You must stop this. Okay, let's go. Ooh, the textures of Ezio's clothing here looks really nice. Okay, up. Let's go. Got him. Where's my sword? I don't know why I said that. It's in my fucking hand. He's killing them all in the exact same way. Oh, you're lucky. You are lucky. What the fuck? Uh -huh. Oh, it's the dude with the fucking thing. Alright, bro. Oh, what the fuck? No. There we go. Leonardo, we talk about Leonardo. Holy shit, I never realized that. The cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours. I 
I never realized when he says th- about the gun, he meant Leonardo made it. I'm f- I fucking realized until just now. Uh, oh, fucking hell. I miss stupid things like that. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! Uh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Kevin! Oh, Kevin! Look at hidden gun. Oh, fucking hell. Tip, getting as much money as possible at the beginning of AC2. <laughs> Just gotta make sure. Because I want to have the money to renovate Rome. Not that this is going to do a great deal of, you know, help. But it's helpful. Oh god, that guy's arm, oh, Jesus. Okay, fuck it, we don't really need that much. Alright. Oh god, there's a lot of guards there, fucking hell. Okay, let's go. Oh! Come on, bro. Okay, right, we got this. Let's do this. Oh! Fuck. Okay. Don't hurt Claudia! Okay, it's fine. Move, move, for fuck's sake. What the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. Oh, like I could have died then. There we go. No. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck if you just let her go? Like, what? Wow, well, that was fucking pathetic. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Jesus Christ. To the sanctuary! I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. Let me through. I must go help the troops. Hurry, Ezio! Okay, let's go. Let's go Where's down Mother? to the sanctuary. Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie, Dio. Could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town. Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. <laughs> oh, of course he's riding brown fuck, isn't he? Memory sequence one complete. Now we have a lovely De Desmond section. So we see what the modern day looks like in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood in the Ezio collection.
Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. Oh, the coloring's much nicer, you tell I think. Me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. To find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditore Villa. Yes, it's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly maybe? I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory-like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, well, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. <laughs> can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar's occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. <laughs> this place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. Well, I mean, they could have probably found you by now, to be fair. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's our next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Let's follow Ezio's ghost. Follow me. Imagine if he just died. Desmond, that was pretty awesome. It just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. Well, we'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone with, with massive targets painted on our backs. <laughs> Classic Sean. this turn on it's great to be out of the animus this isn't exactly my idea of a good time well, let me guess you're more the embedded six type what desmond i know how to have fun no, that's very convincing yeah i'm convinced okay okay after we save the world i'll show you wait can i get that in writing <laughs> we have light What was that? Go. I don't see anything. Run! Get out before these soldati catch you! Correte! Go! They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay? Lucy's a social justice warrior. She's triggered when Desmond makes 
jokes like that. Great, it's stuck. I can get under there. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. I'll find a way around. Lucy could have gone through there as well. Like, what? That's so strange. I can drop into the corridor below through here. Oh, what the Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. <laughs> I love this section, it's great. Desmond? <sighs> More ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. Did anything fall on you? <laughs> no. Is Mother alright? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. As if this mechanism still works, like it's fucking old as shit. How about this? What are you going to <gasps> Nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle ages, probably. Oh, Luckily shit. the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. I even told Rebecca to widen the animus. Seriously? No. Wow, Lucy. Fucking wow. Completely fucked me over there. Okay, I've got another one of these things. Up we go. Ready. Is this the auditory family crypt? It looks like it. Yeah, it is. This is the family crypt. I remember this from AC2. You know, when I came here last. When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. Shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. It's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? You focus on killing yourself, Lucy. When did this become what my the fuck? What I said? If I that? pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch! You go ahead and you pull that switch, Lucy. This is one of my favorite parts of Assassin's Creed in Something's general. Open. I just love this. I don't know what it is. I think it's the banner that they have. And just the fact that it's a really cool modern day section. I don't know. I just really, really like it. I've got this one. There's another lever up ahead. Come over here. Oh man, it's freezing. Stop whining. It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. No time. Okay. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. Remember, this is the time of your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ready? Go for it. How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? Okay, we've got another one of these things. If it'll work. There we go. Gotcha. Thanks. Hey, Joe! We are on the other side! Hurry! Alright, let's continue. This bit's way longer than I remember. I thought this was like a five minute section. Maybe it's not. Great, the bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. 
I'm ready, ready. friend. Oh, it always really bothers me how Lucy's hands hold on to that. Like, it doesn't look natural. Let me see. Oh, like a ahead. like a 90 degree angle. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Ah, oh, classic. Oh, here it is. I have found an entrance. You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. Oh, life is full of disappointments. The fuck is this? Every time. Every fucking time. Me and Tyler said it's where they held the shroud when uh, Mario had it in the Auditory Villa. But we don't know. We don't know. Um, it's not confirmed. However, we do think that might be where it is. Because this was around the Project Legacy days. Uh, when they actually introduced that whole shroud thing being in the Auditory Villa. So it makes sense that they put a little nod to it in the game. Uh, because that's what Ubisoft used to do sure back in the day. Got it. Thank you, Desmond. Now it's my turn to even the score. There. Thanks. It's a start. These mechanisms are everywhere. Do your magic. Oh, we're gonna go down here. All right. Drop. Hop across. We got this. Up you go. Thanks. We make a good team. I was okay. throw Lucy cross. I think this is the last one I think we're out now. Come on, Desmond, let's go. All right, well, give me a fucking chance. Yeah, here we go. There's the Altair statue. Nice. We're in a black room of Desmond. Jesus. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. Let's open the door. Oh, fuck. It's one of those weird sections where you can't sprint. This door open. Oh wait, hold on. There's something here. Can you open? There we go. You guys did it. About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Didn't Lucy say there was a beam blocking that entrance? There was no, there was no beam blocking that entrance. What a lie. Okay. Anyway. Okay. 
Everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town. And make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. <laughs> oh, we've got to plug in these power things now. Right, look around Monte Regioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. I, was, I find it strange that Desmond didn't say anything in response. Like, that wasn't a conversation, that was like someone giving a mission. That was weird. That felt like I was playing a game. That was strange. That wasn't very immersive at all. Alright, let's find all these circuit boxes. I feel like I remember where most of them are, but maybe I don't. We'll give this a shot. I think there's one this side and then there's like two the other side but i think it's just like right here like somewhere very close i'm kind of i feel like i may be mixing up the locations of the power but no, no no there is one just there i thought i was mixing up the locations of the power boxes with the uh statuettes from ac2 because i feel like I, I fucking get them mixed up okay sweet Why did Desmond run like that? He looks really odd. There's one. I got one more to go. Pretty sure the last one's like on top of a building. Oh no, there it is. Huh. Weird. I remember them being in different places. That's strange. Okay. I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes, it's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Alright, let's actually get started though. Into the Animus. Returning to Ezio. Let's do it. Oh, now we get that really long Animus tutorial. Ugh. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. I kind of don't have to do this. I can actually just quit if I wanted to. I kind of have too much pride to quit, though. Oh, I messed up. What a shame. I can't believe I messed that up. Fuck. Fuck. 
Well. Normally I'm better at this. I think I'm just I'm extremely tired actually. Yay! You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory, by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Okie dokie. Here we go. Back to Ezio. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Ezio's robes look really nice in uh, the Ezio collection in Brotherhood. I quite like them. I mean, I, I've always liked them, but I mean, they just look way better. I think the texturing and stuff looks better. Maybe. That's just me. I don't know. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't see Rome. Oh, that colouring though. Ah, uh, Roma. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the Mausoleo. Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Ooh, yes, the colours. The stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Oh, the colors look so nice in the Ezio collection. Holy shit, that looks awesome. I didn't think this would look as good as it does. I honestly, like, Brotherhood already looks like a great game. They've just improved the coloring, resolution, textures, and draw distance. Like, it's just nice. Like, it's just, it's only slight improvements to the textures as well, but it's just a nice improvement, like, shinier stuff, like, more detail to, like, you know, the robes on Ezio and stuff like that. Doctor. This is just, again, a more perfected Brotherhood. Very nice looking. I approve. Why am I riding a fucking horse? <clears throat> ah, my arm. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. <laughs> Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Bring me your sick and wounded. Let's make sure we buy some medicine from him. Oh, I already have full medicine. Alright, sweet. Ooh, Brotherhood looks nice. Wow, this actually looks really good. I really like this. Like, it's like the draw distance resolution. Lighting is the biggest improvement. 
but it's a really good improvement. Like, it really makes Brotherhood look considerably different. And then, of course, you've got this beautiful sun glare, like the same as from Assassin's Creed 2. This just, just looks great. Wow, that looks it looks way better than I thought it was going to. Holy shit. Look at that draw distance, though. Resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Okay, time to track these guys down and assassinate that dude. The fucking executioner guy from multiplayer. <laughs> There we go. Oh, my blending is top notch right now. My blending is amazing. Why'd that guard spin? Good at tailing. I actually don't mind this tailing mission. I think that's because Brotherhood doesn't have too many tailing missions. That whispering makes me feel like I'm playing multiplayer and my like the guy that's trying to kill me is near. I'm doing some good blending right now. Okay, we're almost there. They just go down here, don't they? Honestly, Ezio's robes right now in this game really remind me of how his robes look in Assassin's Creed, like, Unity. Like, no lie, like, the texturing really is similar to Unity. Like, I think that it looks very similar. Like, extremely detailed. That's really cool. Nice. There we go, let's talk to this guy. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rogue. The treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Let's go get him. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Go get him. I have to assassinate him with a hidden blade, right? That's the full sink, I think. So we shall do just that. Nice. 
Got him. Requiescat in pace. Requiescat in pace. Dickhead. No, no. Let's take all these dickheads out. Oh, I was going to counter that. I, I, I completely messed up there. That was weird. Oh, fucking hell. Screw you. Okay, well, there it is. Pretty much the first hour. We've run over by about 10 minutes, but that is the first hour of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, I'll see you in episode 2, which I'll actually end up being like recording in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> but thank you for joining me. If you have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button because that would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new. And of course, comment down. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, I can't wait to do more of this. It's fun. Covering the X Collection is absolutely awesome. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!